Hey guys, what's up? Geek Lucas here, and today I have a tutorial on Photoshop. Um, the thing I want to teach you is how to make this cool background I made for me. I'll just put uh, auto height on the dock so you can see it better. So I'm gonna teach you how to do this thingy on the background and the uh, ref and reflections on a cool to make how uh, this cool background. So the first thing you gotta do, of course, open Photoshop. Okay, my computer takes a while, so yeah, just wait. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna we're gonna hit File, New. So. I'll put custom and um, uh, select pixels and I put the my screen resolution you put yours so just click OK 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 so you gotta have this thing then the first thing you're gonna do is select the gradient and be sure it's this one and they're just you're gonna just simply drag it make sure it's uh, the space you're gonna make it like bigger make it bigger I think no it's too big I think that's okay so then you're, you're gonna select the filter and you're gonna go to distort wave and you're gonna select right here square so you're gonna have like this then you hit ok then now you're gonna uh, put the layers you're gonna duplicate the layer ok background copy whatever you wanna name it then right click on it then select blending options and go to gradient overlay select the blend mode to overlay the gradient to this one if you want to make that colorful uh, background so gonna, not gonna look like this but uh, yeah the same colors but gonna look better so you can choose this one this one's cool too. Maybe this one. So I'm, I'm just gonna select this one. So yeah, I'm gonna select the uh, yeah linear. Li sorry, linear. And angle to 180. So yeah, that's gonna how it's gonna look like. Now we're gonna need some text. So select the text button. Okay. What the fuck? Sorry, not responding. Yeah, whatever. Okay, there you go. So we're gonna select the color to white. Okay. Then, okay, I'm gonna type Geek Lucas. Uh, the font I'm using is blank, blank Gothic MD BT. So it's a good font for making this. Um, select sharp, and okay, so make a good size for it. Okay, I think this is like kind of good. So just put right in the middle like this. Then you're gonna create a layer mask right here no uh, first you're gonna uh, s duplicate the layer where is it okay here duplicate layer okay then you're gonna select uh, edit transform and flip vertical 
then you're gonna select the selection tool and you're just gonna drag it right down to it just like this and just make it like that okay pretty good now we're gonna create a layer mask on the copy on the duplicate layer then the layer mask is right here I think so we're gonna create a layer mask on it so there you have it then you're gonna select the uh, the gradient again select to this one the first one it's okay foreground to background then I think you want to zoom zoom in so it's kind of better it's kind of cool then you're gonna select the I think the E if you have an E it's the better then you're gonna select and um, also press shift, shift if you're a Windows I don't know the key on Mac sorry and just drag it right down I think that's okay so there you go then we're gonna select the opacity to like 30% I think so yeah 30% and so it's 31 but doesn't matter then let's see how it looks so I think it's looking pretty good maybe change the opacity so uh, you, you adjust the opacity but I think it's 30 it's like pretty good so yeah that w that's about it so well in my opinion that's a cool background you can write everything you want on it. You don't need the reflections. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's just my opinion. So you can use a uh, glow and other stuff on phones. It's also really good, but I think this one's pretty cool. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And so don't remember to. Uh, I mean, remember to. I mean, don't forget to save. So, save as JPEG, I think it's a better format. So, yeah guys, thanks for watching and please subscribe.